Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be turning your Steam Deck into an emulation beast with Emu Deck. A free tool that sets up tons of emulators on one go, whether it's NES, PS2 or even the Switch. This guide's got you covered, so let's get started. So what is EmuDeck? EmuDeck is a free script that installs emulators, configures controls, and adds your games to Steam. It's hassle-free and covers retro classics to modern systems. Here is what you'll need. First, a USB drive. I recommend a 256. It's cheap, chunky enough for ROMs, and I'll have that link in the description down below. A USB adapter, affordable and works like a charm. Since the Steam Deck doesn't have a USB port, we'll have to use a USB adapter to connect our USB drive to it. Also, I recommend getting a micro SD card. I'm currently using a 1.5 terabyte SanDisk. This might be overkill, but I really want enough space for all of my games. Now, the biggest recommendation I have is going to be this gaming dock with these amazing RGB lights. And thanks to Ivanki for sponsoring this video. This 14 in one docks a must have for Steam Deck fans. It's got a HDMI 2.1 for 4K at 120 Hertz. Perfect for smooth, crisp visuals on a big screen. You also get a 100 watt charging to keep your deck juiced up during marathon sessions, and it connects your mouse and USB drive easily and efficiently with USB 3.2 ports at five gigabits per second. No more fumbling with cables. The adjustable stand's a game changer too. Switch between zero degrees for regular use or 45 degrees for cooling, or full open mode for the best angle. This thing keeps your deck comfy and cool. Plus seven RGB modes like breathing and rainbow wave let you vibe up your setup, match it to your game or mood. It's built for devices like the Steam Deck, ROG Ally and more. Oh, and if you're into simpler docks with no RGBs, their USB-C gaming docks another solid pick. This one also has a hundred watt charging and 4K at 60 Hertz in a compact package. You can check both of these stands in the links provided down below in the description and pinned in the comment. I absolutely love this gaming dock. It makes it a lot more easier for me to just connect all of the things that I need on my Steam Deck instead of using a USB adapter. Not only that, but connecting a mouse to go onto desktop mode makes it a lot easier and more efficient instead of using your finger as a pointer or using the analogs to move your mouse around which kind of gets annoying and it's extremely helpful when you're setting up your emulators and your rom so you can go in there quickly to move things around and get your steam deck all set up all right so let's begin the setting up all of these emulators with emu deck on your steam deck hit the steam button and go down to your power settings and select switch to desktop You'll need to use the Linux desktop to kick things off. Find Firefox and open it. It will begin to install it on your Steam Deck. Once it's installed, go to emudeck.com, click download, then download the installer. Once the installer is downloaded, make sure to find it in your downloads folder and move it to your desktop. Double click and run the application. Hit execute and let it run. When you start the application, you have two different options. You have easy mode and custom mode. I recommend going into custom mode so you can configure each emulator the way you want it. Next, you're gonna be choosing your storage. It'll ask you where to store your ROMs, an internal SSD or a micro SD. Now, if you are gonna be using a micro SD card, I suggest going back to gaming mode and go into your settings under storage and format your micro SD card so you can properly use it on your console. Let's now move on to adding your games. This is gonna be very simple, but it's gonna take a couple of steps to get it going. When prompted, plug in your USB drive and select it to create ROM and BIOS folders. Once it's finished, unplug it and on your PC, drop your ROMs and BIOS into the right folders. For example, GBA ROMs in the GBA folder and GBA BIOS in the GBA BIOS folder. Once you have all of your files all set up, go back on your Steam Deck, plug in the USB and move on to the next step. Make sure to choose it in the file explorer and just the drive with no subfolders. And let Emu Deck scan and copy. This might take a while if you do have a big library, so sit back and relax. When the transfer is complete, it will now ask you how would you like to launch your games. If you have a large library, I recommend using Emulation Station, DE, or Pegasus. At Welcome to RSM, make sure to connect your Steam account. 
Hit next and you'll be brought to the parsers page. Here is a collection of emulators you can add to your Steam library and add all of the emulators you'd like to add to your library and make sure that Emulation Station is one of those selections. Once complete, hit save to Steam and you should go back to game mode and all of your games should appear in your game library. Launch Emulation Station and you'll see all of your emulators and your ROMs installed and ready to play. And there's so many amazing little settings here that I'll probably make a different video on like how to get your game cover set up or changing into different themes. But this is an amazing start for you to start playing all of your retro games on your Steam Deck. So Emu Deck setup was buttery smooth, emulators, BIOS, and ROMs all in one shot. Pair it with the iVanky dock and you've got a pro level emulation station. Let me know how it works for you with leaving a comment down below. Smash the thumbs up and subscribe for more Steam Deck guides coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Happy gaming.